Hi guys, can you guys hear me? Yeah? Yes, can Okay, good. All right. Um, yeah, today class will be, uh, I hope this will be very fast, uh, very quick, uh, uh, very short. Uh, today we'll, we will watch a few video um, and then I'll emphasize on the uh, group assignment, right? Okay. Um, before I start for today, um, remember uh, those who are not attending today class or uh, you are watching online video, um, you should already completed your learning contract, uh, 1%, your lesson one quiz, lesson two, A to B quiz, uh, uh, lesson three, three, three B will do today. Uh. So uh, if you're watching video uh, and uh, by, this uh, by this week, Friday, if I go into the canvas and I check, you haven't complete, um, and you haven't complete all the quiz that necessary until this week, right? So this week you should clear until uh, lesson three A three B. If you haven't complete, you will receive a reminder email from me. Yeah? Uh, I will CC to the HOP, meaning you are a big concern uh, to this uh, module already, right? Okay. okay. Again, um, for your assignment, right? Um, uh, for your um, especially group assignment. Remember that we have four, uh, three learning outcome here. So in your report, make sure you mention all these key, uh, key, key point, huh? Okay. All right. So again, um, I'm going to highlight one, one uh, checklist here. So remember, uh, those uh, you're watching online or those you, you watch this video um, at, at your free time. So remember, we have a checklist in Canvas. We are now in week three already. Eh? We're now in week three. So tonight, we're going to do lesson 3A quiz and 3B quiz. And then next week, will be your due date for your individual assignment, all right? 20%. Huh? So if you do not submit next week, Sunday 11, there's a date here. If you do not submit an individual assignment on Canvas next week, 25th, zero, uh, 6, uh, mean June, 11, 59 p.m. Uh, and you appeared, uh, if your submission appeared on 26th, June, midnight, zero, zero, zero. After that, I will assign you zero marks. Huh? My remark will give you zero marks and uh, I'll put a remark uh, late submission. Okay, so I won't mark for late submission. Huh? Just take note. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll be very strict in the uh, this uh, submission due date. Huh? So all of you, you are, you are working adults, you know uh, the consequences of uh, not able to deliver results to your customers. Huh? So I'll be very particular on the due date. So take note. Huh? Uh, next week is your individual assignment, 20% uh, due date. Huh? Okay, then, uh, okay. So again, tonight, tonight our, assi uh, our big task is to complete 3A, 3B. So again, I'm going to help you. And then I'm going to brief on the group projects. Huh? Group project going to due on week six. We are now in a week three. So we have uh, about two weeks to two week half uh, to complete your group projects. Huh? So those uh, you haven't have group, I'm gonna assign you to a new group. Huh? I'm gonna assign you to a new group where all your new group will be those who are not active on Canvas. So you need to settle your own unactive member. Okay, I'm not going to deal with uh, those uh, not appeared in the class. Huh? All right. Um, Today we're going to look a little bit on the rules of CSR, where it will be very uh, uh, important to your group uh, assignment. Huh? So we'll look at a few examples and uh, later I'll brief on the group assignment. Uh, you will use a similar format to answer the group assignment. Okay, I'll show you a sample, of course, after the, the lecture or the theory class. Huh? So we look at economic development and then what are the practices and uh, especially ethic in the marketing. Huh? Okay. So we're going to look at how CSR in business 
it going to create job opportunities, how it um, secured the goods for the um, for the business. All right. For example, if you talk about Starbucks, so the able if you do a if you do a good CSR, you manage to persuade the local to sell you the good coffee bean, for example. Huh? So uh, because those are good coffee bean, uh, some you can only find in a very rural mountain area. So if you have a good CSR, you, you practice a good uh, branding to the local people, and then they find out, hey, actually this brand or this company, they are doing some kind work or good work. Then um, they most most high chances they will they will do business with you huh? so um, then you support the local initiative and you invest in the community so all these points you are you need all these points to elaborate in your group report data so we're going to look at one of the video this video is about um, seven minutes so I, i'm got, not going to play vi videos huh? so again uh, because it's seven minutes uh, it's a, it's a length, a very long video. So what, what does this uh, video about? It's about Asia Foundation that helping a group of people. Um, and then uh, they have a, a few vision and they talk about what is the enterprise, what are the local people do about the, the thing. So Asia go and help them. Okay, so um, I'll give this assignment, uh, not, not assignment, I'll give this uh, simple task to you guys. So after the class, or you can watch this video during your weekend or during your free time. Huh? So there's, there, there will be one, one quiz question asked about this video, but I'm going to help you guys. Huh? I'm going to help you guys. So this is a seven minutes, so we're going to skip this video. All right. All right. Okay, those uh, students, you just log in, remember to mute your mic, yeah? unless you have questions to ask. All right, so um, just a uh, um, summary of the video. So Asia Foundation, what they do is that they start a business or they call it uh, entrepreneurship in the minority ethnic to promote the, the traditional tra uh, therapy in the rural area. Okay, so this video you can watch huh? seven minutes in, at your free time. Um, the success of the business promote more jobs. They, they, they give more jobs to the lo uh, local people, uh, especially to promote their traditional uh, therapy, right? They, they sell, they're able to sell their local herbs to the, uh, to the city, uh, people in the city and so on. Huh? Okay, so another one is the Google uh, company, which is very famous for their marketing, for very famous for their employee benefit. Right, um, especially those young uh, uh, com uh, IT expert. So they, this is a very, very famous uh, company where also they, they tr again, uh, CSR have the four component. One of these uh, benefit or the employee treatment. So this one, they have a very impressive work culture. So I'm going to play this uh, small video, which is about Google's. Huh? About Google's. So this one is about uh, three to four minutes. So I think I think we still have a privilege to uh, spend these four minutes uh, together. So I'm going to answer all these questions. What are the facilities at Google that attracts people or the, the staff, the internal staff they like? What kind of activity they do all right, to, to encourage the involvement? Uh, so, okay. If you are one of the employees in Google, do you think you are able to handle work stress? From the video, name five things that you would really appreciate from an employer. So this is, uh, you can do during your free time, you can uh, play this video again and again. We're gonna watch this video. Huh?
Okay, so there are lots of uh, benefit uh, working as a Google employee. So there are lots of uh, reason, and actually, um, nowadays, lots of uh, um, company they they kind of copy what Google do and uh, give benefit and treat their company um, as near as what uh, what Google can offer, right? Okay, now the next one we look at workplace uh, safety environment management. So uh, this Shell, um, uh, Shell is doing a very good example to ensure that their workplace is safe because they, of course, it, it is uh, related to the nature of their business also. Right? They deal with a um, very high explosive material, uh, natural gas and uh, all the uh, petrol, petroleum uh, products. So they share, in such Shell, they have a very strict uh, law uh, and regulation to make sure everyone is safe. Um, there's a one video which is 11 minutes, so uh, I want you guys to watch this video after the the, the session, All right? So go go through the shell video, uh, um, and they uh, keep emphasizing on the life saving rules policy and so on. Yeah. So um, one one word summarize what shell doing for their uh, CSR is that uh, safety, right? Safety, safety, safety. Yeah? Okay, so this video is about 11 minutes. We're going to skip this one. So uh, watch this video when, uh, when you are free. Yeah? Okay. So again, uh, what is the purpose we put all this video is to uh, guide you through that. So we groom you and uh, get you ready for your group assignment so that you know uh, how to do it and uh, well, what are the elements that we're looking for. Okay, so this video is a bit long. long. So another one is uh, customer safety and company liabilities. So one good example uh, is Asia, right? So um, they manage, uh, they, they, are, they are more focused, of course nowadays they are more focused on a digital, um, commercial digital uh, services, um, but they're still an airline company. So they give a service line of transportation, transportation and uh, uh, because they, they they have a loss of uh, uh, destination to to go, so um, in this CSR initiative for uh, for Asia, what they do is that they help uh, they encourage encourage their staff uh, to be observant in identify uh, in identifying suspicious situation that might contribute to the human trafficking. Especially those, uh, but now as a day you know if you are uh, quite active in the social media, you know what happened to uh, human trafficking uh, activities, uh, especially so those Myanmar and uh, Filipina, uh, Philipp Philippines, um, and, yeah, and Thailand also. Uh, so, um, so Asia in early days, they, they already have this uh, initiative to identify uh, human trafficking. Uh. So they even uh, initiate the Know the Sign initiative to identify Actually, um, there is a victim who actually fall into the uh, the scam uh, or uh, fall into the human trafficking activities. Huh? So they, they have this uh, Know the Sign initiative uh, launched by Asia. So this video is about three, two, two minutes, 30 seconds. So let's watch this video. Huh? So again, when you watch this video, uh, pay attention to what the corporate do and then what is the society or what, what is the impact to the society. Yeah? So CSR actually focusing on this on, on these two big do, uh, domain, which is uh, what the corporate do and what is the benefit of the community, right? Okay, so what is the aim of knowing the sign initiative? Why, why the Asia launched this one? So in your group uh, re, uh, assignment later, you also need to highlight the company that you're studying. What is the initiative? Why they launched that one? Why, why is the aim of they doing that particular uh, projects? So who do you think should know about the sign? So this is the, the community component, right? So how do you think this initiative can save life or what uh, you need to put in your report, like uh, in your group report, uh, you need to put in a reason uh, what, on your in your own words like wh wh why do you think that this is a good project okay. based on the triple bottom line so triple bottom line if you watch the video triple bottom line uh, in this uh, this one is uh, in the last week um, lecture 
So triple bottom line actually summarize in three capital, uh, in three alphabet, which is three P, uh, people, planet, and uh, people, planet, and profit. Sorry, people, planet, and uh, uh, planet. Uh, people, profit, planet. So triple P. Uh, so deal with people, deal with environment, deal with money, and uh, these three things. Okay, uh, and uh, and uh, in your final exam, um, this uh, triple bottom line is very uh, popular in uh, asking in the question. Uh. So the, the triple P, it can be translated into the similar meaning. So look for the answer that related to the people, planet and profit. Okay, people, planet and profit. Uh. Okay, so let's watch this video. Every 30 seconds, a person falls victim to human trafficking. The United Nations estimates 6 to 8 million people are trafficked across international borders each year. Only 1% is ever rescued. นะครับแล้วก็ครับแล้วก็ยี่สิบห้าเปอร์เซ็นต์ของการค้ามนุษย์มาจากประเทศอาเซียนแอร์เชียฮับของเราเรามีหลายฮับมีหลายประเทศเ
marking practice. Huh? So this one, this question also come out in a quiz later, but I'm going to help you guys. Huh? Whether the company knowing or unknowing engage in an unethical manner to procure their products, do you think consumer would take the time to investigate before they react? Right. So if, um, your group assignment later, uh, you need to put in a lot of your uh, your your thinking and what uh, and your opinion based on the company CSR report. Right. So let's say uh, uh, let's say just now you watch the Asia, know the sign. So at the end of the the the, the section of your report or your conclusion, you need to uh, try to write something uh, about your opinion. Right. So what, what do you think? This is a good, why good? Right. And then elaborate based on uh, the, 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 the theory that we cover in lecture one and lecture two. Huh? Okay, we're not going to watch this one. You watch on a free time. Okay, so summaries, uh, this, uh, this for this week uh, theory class, huh? we have a uh, uh, actually, you have uh, four videos uh, to, to watch, right? So we will have watched one. Uh, basically, uh, all this video is linked with the role of CSR. Uh, and then you're explaining how the CSR help them uh, uh, impact the community. At the same time, it play as a good brand so that uh, the, the consumer, they, they have a good feeling on the brand uh, when they purchase or use the services. Huh? Okay, so we're going into the uh, group projects um, briefing. So all these information are available on Canvas. I, I'll just elaborate on some of them. Uh, before, before that, make sure you already have a group of uh, seven, right? Um, those you haven't get a group, um, um, I'm going to assign you in a new group. So you need to work uh, with the, the the team member uh, in the group. Huh? So, and then uh, those you're watching uh, online or uh, after the lecture, so make sure you go to the Canvas and go and go to the people, you log in Canvas, go to the people. And then from there, you're able to see the group, huh? the group for assignment. And then you click inside, go and find your name in the group. So then after that, you find a group, right? You know, let's say you are the last group, uh, group number 12. So what you do is that uh, because you are late in making decisions, so we make decision for you. So uh, let's say you're, you're in the last group, uh, group number 12. So what you do, you go to the WhatsApp, our MPU subject WhatsApp group. You go there and Hello. Is it lag? Yeah. Yeah, my side also. So we can hear you. Hello, sir. Uh, you there? Sir, yeah. we can hear you, sir. Hello. Being sure lag, that lag. it's lag, <laughs> so we wait a while. Lag. Hello. Blackout. <laughs> blackout. 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 <laughs> The next service is low. Tak bayar wi ke? <laughs> Nanti you tanya dia. One minute. Are you? Are you? At the way. Uh.
Oh, what is the lecturer? Hold on, yeah. I'm trying to reconnect. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. We are now back to the. Okay, um, just now when the network is is down, where do I stop or where where's the the, the screen is hanging? Is it uh when I do the uh briefing for the group project? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. So yeah, let's continue. So um, so we are now back to the group uh projects um uh, briefing. Huh? so again, uh, just now maybe I I. I I lost at the uh, group uh, assignment. So uh, if you are watching the recorded video, uh, make sure you already get a group um, by these two days. Uh. So if you if you are still see your name uh, outside the canvas uh, people names there, I will assign you manually to a new group. Uh. The last group is group, uh, group 12. So uh, if uh, yeah, most probably if you haven't get a group, you will be in the group 12. So let's say you are in the group 12. What, what I need you, you to do is that um, go to the WhatsApp, uh, MPU WhatsApp group, uh, identify yourself as a group 12 a member, and then try to find uh, if anyone create a group or not. If no, then you take the responsibility to create one uh, uh, group, uh, WhatsApp group, and then you gather your group member, and then you 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 discuss about the group projects, uh, in another group WhatsApp group. Huh? So I think some of the group you already initiate all these, uh, uh, uh WhatsApp group, uh, already. So good, uh, good job on that, right? So what is your uh, group assignment about? Huh? So your group assignment, what you need to do is you propose a sustainable CSR program that integrates any one or two of the uh, SDG. Huh? So what is a uh, SDG? So again, this one uh, we will cover next week, but you can start to do about SDG. SDG, we have 17. Uh, you go to United Nations uh, website, you type in, or you Google, you just type in SDG uh, United Nations or SDG uh, Sustainable Development Goal. Uh, you have 17. So uh, we will cover this one next week. So what, what you need to do is that you submit your group assignment in, uh, sorry. You submit your assignment in uh, two components. Huh? So what are the two components? Is that you need to prepare your PowerPoint slides and submit to on the, uh, on the canvas. But this one later, this one later, important is your report because your PowerPoint actually you extract the content from your report. Huh? So PowerPoint is that this one is 10%. You um, you make a, a PowerPoint slides using PowerPoint, and then you upload your PowerPoints uh, onto the canvas. Huh? So this one later, this one later, uh, important is your report. Huh? So from today until week number six, so um, you need to get your report. Uh, ready, especially the content. Huh? Okay. So task overview is that again is focusing on the CSR, uh, CSR uh, sustainable program. So what you need to do is that later in the canvas, uh, in if you go to canvas and go to the group, um, uh, group projects uh, brief uh, information, there is a list of uh, company. Uh, discuss with your group member, select one company from the list. Huh? Select one company from the list. This one, we already uh, give you a list, so you choose one from there. Huh? Um, okay, so do your research to understand what the company do, especially their company CSR. So don't worry, the list that inside, the company that inside the list, they already we already have the information and we do make sure that company have the information. So don't worry about the information. Your job is to elaborate on the point, eh? elaborate on the point. So 
once you choose the, com the company from the list and then you discuss with your group, what does the company do in their CSR, especially their strategies, how they how they do their, uh, their CSR. Strategy means uh, the, the, the way they use so that uh, they are successful in their CSR program, right? Related to primary and secondary shareholders. This one, we already cover what is primary and secondary. Primary is every, every uh, primary is from your company uh, until your supply chain, which is direct to, related to the business, um, uh, business operation, right? So this is primary. What is secondary? Secondary stakeholder is something that is outside the company and the supply chain. For example, uh, government policy, um, any agencies or any um, a country or governments and so on, right? So that is uh, outside the company uh, 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 influence area. Okay, so this one. So what you do is that you go to the uh, I, one of the uh, corporate's website or foundation website. You go to their website, go download their annual report. Go and uh, find their annual report. And then after you understand about the, 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 the company, because in your report, you need to write something about the company. Um, you require to develop a program. Uh, you need to develop a program, CSR program, in, incorporate one or two sustainable de development goals or the requirement of the company. So we are going to cover CSR, uh, uh, CSR SDG goals. Uh, but uh, I'm going to open up, uh, uh, in fact, I think some of you, you already see the information. I did open up uh, lecture number four or week four information. You can access uh, what is uh, SDG information there. So we also lay out how to prepare the report. We give you the very um, detailed guidelines, how you need to do. Uh, you just follow the format and answer the question. Eh? So format your group report, list the company chosen, and then, um, okay, so the rest, wait, huh? okay. So there's a rubrics inside the canvas, uh, just a snapshot. So there's a rubric for you to uh, to work on your uh, your your report. Huh? So for example, organization of ideas. So you, what you uh, I would recommend you you only need to read the excellence uh, column. The rest is just uh, uh, it's not not very helpful for you guys. Try to read the excellence. What what uh, how we give you marks when you have all these component, all right? Uh, organization of your idea, clarity of documentation. So it means there's a citation, there's a, uh, you give evidence. For example, there's a chart, uh, there's a there's a report on on that particular subject that you mentioned. Huh? So it means every uh, means that the statement or the paragraph you write, you support with graph, you support with report, you support with a table from the annual report. Huh? Okay. Yeah, any question? Uh, Lao so why you have your mic is on, so you, do you have any question? If no, please mute your mic. Eh? Okay, collaborative effort. This one is your team. So again, uh, ignore the word blackboard because previously we are using blackboard. We are now using Canvas. So uh, it just means that uh, all your team members is contributing to the uh, report uh, to the uh, group report yeah and then uh, proposal plan uh, this is the content and so on uh, this one you read okay now group recession slides here uh, is you extract from your group report uh, from your group report so this one you need to submit by uh, week uh, six uh, by week six we are now in week three so we by week six you submit uh, on Sunday, okay. Um, then uh, okay, so this one, okay. Okay, so these are all the all the guidance, uh. So let's say uh, this is uh, wiki page here is that you you have a a share working place. In in this case, this wiki page uh, pages referring to you can your group can create you can go to the Google doc Google doc uh, do, or Google document and then you can share the Google doc with your team member. 
So when you're discussing about the the projects online, so um, one of you, one of your team member, you just uh, keen or or uh, any one of your team member that you share in the Google Doc can participate in the writing. Okay, so um, all these things I will show you the example. I'll show you example uh, offline. Huh? Okay. Okay, so this is the page. Huh? See the page. So on the canvas, you will see that there's a list you choose from here. So the first one is uh, uh, this first company, Amelus, Amelus Holding Berhad, Thomson, Patron, Revenue Group, Malaysia Airports. So choose one from here. Huh? Choose one from here. Okay, and provide uh, information about company that you selected. So um, by this week in your group, you decide which one you want to go. Huh? So um, then the nature of business, what the company doing, the area of uh, CSR. So the area of CSR you can download. For example, um, Patron, they have lots of uh, CSR pro uh, projects. So try to like classify or grouping them uh, in your report. Then you uh, focus on one. Huh? I'll show you one example later, right? Um, then uh, this is uh, the strength and gap. So in your, these are the questions that help you to write your report. So in your report, you answer all these questions, right? So the first part of your report, you choose one company and then you write something, you introduce the company, right? Answer all these three points here. So for example, you take Patron, for example, uh, if you're good tech Patron, you answer, you go to the website, go for, um, go and uh, then understand what is the company doing, write in your own words, uh, write in your own words, don't copy and paste in the report. Again, when we found you copy and paste, you, the marks that we give you, we cannot give you more than half, right? You will fall below half, means you will fail the projects. Yeah, so this is just a uh, highlights for that. Don't copy paste. Huh? If you copy paste, forty percent of this uh, group report, you will get less than twenty percent. Ah, okay, you get less than twenty percent if you get caught. Uh, copy paste from website, and also copy paste from the report from the annual report. Huh? We're going to check using Turnitin, uh, platform, and be careful. Don't use AI bots, for example, ChatGPT, to help you to write report. Huh? Now, today, turn it in, they are very smart. They can identify which tools that you are using. So once you get caught in the turn it in report, I will, because you are submitting in a document word, I'm going to submit into the turn it in. They will generate report for us. Once your group get caught, again, your, your group report will we will mark from half of the percentage. For example, the full mark for group projects or group assignment is 40%. So if you get caught, the your starting point is 20 marks up of 40. So you cannot get more than 20 marks. If you get caught, copy, paste, plagiarize, and uh, you do not show effort to complete this report. Means you, you use AI bot to help you to do so the marks will go to the AI bot and not you. Huh? Okay. So this is the first uh, first uh, few pages of your report. You write something about the company. After that, you answer this question in the following section of your report. First, you identify the strength and gap. You answer all these questions. Right? You answer this question, all these questions. Some of the questions we will cover in the next lecture, but you can start preparing them. Huh? Then, after you answer question identified uh, strength and gap, then you go to how you improve, huh? improve on your existing plan or propose a new plan. So based on what they do, um, for example, Asia video you just watched just now, right? So Asia, they have this know the sign initiative. So uh, what you answer is here, section A, then the section B here is how you improve that. How you stop, how, is there any way to, to, to stop uh, human trafficking beside of uh, beside identifying the, the 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 hand signal right for example and you uh, so section B here maybe if uh, if the case study is the Asia just now 
So section B here is you generate new idea based on uh, the CSR initiative. For example, section A, you, you discuss about the, uh, the, the hand signal, identify the human trafficking signal. Here, you, what you can do here is that you give lots of ideas of alternative. For example, uh, air crew trainings, um, and also uh, maybe you can have a special uh, engineering devices or button that you can uh, that you can uh, uh, initiate if you if you have all these uh, cases. For example, uh, this is just an improve. This section is improvement or ideas. So all these questions we are prepared for you. You just follow the guidelines here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I need to highlight is that. Uh, in when you mention this section, uh, this B, uh, um, what you what you do is that or how you do is that you go to lecture one, lecture two, uh, uh, PowerPoint slides or, or, or information on the canvas, use the sustainability principle, the triple bottom line principle, or CSR principle, you know, all right, to um, to elaborate on the at least two two of the. 17 uh, sustainable development goal. So this one you will learn next lecture. Okay. Uh, so uh, what is important for tonight and onwards uh, or before next week is that uh, you decide one company from this list, decide one company, and then start doing homework on the the nature of the company. Start knowing the the company, and then um, uh, yeah. So go go to their annual report, uh, go to their CSI website, go and see what, what they do first. So section A, you can do by next week here. So uh, after next week lecture, or week four, we will cover the CS, uh, the SDG or Sustainable uh, Development Goal. Then your group can start working on this one. Huh? Do it slowly, no, no worries. Huh? You still have time to do it. And in your group, you have at least uh, seven members. So you can cover quite a lot of uh, things if uh, you delegate your works right? and everyone work, work a little bit more, you're able to generate a good report. Um, so this one is all the, the format. For example, the project title, area, then project relevance and needs. So this one, you, you have all the, all the key points here already. You just elaborate or uh, you just uh, read and then you elaborate on based on all the points here. Okay. Okay. So this is also the same. That the point is there. You just need to answer the description here. Okay. Again, write in your own words. Huh? Write in your own words. Don't copy and paste. Huh? And sustainable plans in your report. Expected results. So there are few section. Make sure all this section is clearly um, reported in your uh, report. Huh? Okay. Separate your report. Clearly, based on do you have a section for project description, sustainability plan, expected results. Okay, I will show you uh, one sample later. Huh? Okay, so we have two quiz to to solve for tonight. Okay, let's solve for this quiz. Then we I show you a sample. Huh? Okay, let me stop the recording.